Today we're going to show how to create a report using InfoAssist Plus. Reports are tables of information that show data that is organized into rows and columns for specified sort values. To create a report from WebFocus, you can either right-click the folder in which you want to create it, point to New, and click Report, or you can click Report from Quick Links on the home page. If you are already in InfoAssist Plus, you can create a new report by clicking New on the Quick Access Toolbar or Application menu. Once you choose a data source, you will be ready to create your content. To add fields to a report, double-click them, drag them onto the canvas, or drag them into the appropriate field container in the Query pane. Fields in the By Field container indicate the sorting of the rows of your report. Similarly, fields in the Across Field container dictate the grouping of the report into columns for each value of the specified field, and the sum field container is used to aggregate the numeric measure data that exists for each field. You can also add a filter to limit the amount of data in your report by selectively including or excluding certain field values. This option is available by dragging a field into the filter pane, or by creating a filter from scratch after clicking Filter in the Data tab. Creating a report is simple, but there are many options for customizing it. From the Home tab, you can change the style sheet or add bands to make it easier to read. You can also change the output format. Options include familiar file formats like PDF or Excel, as well as the Active Report format, which gives you numerous filtering and viewing options at runtime. It is also possible to add a header or footer to provide some context for your report. The Format tab provides further ways to view your report when it is run, either by saving space by using a collapsible accordion, navigating the report more easily by using a table of contents or pages on demand, or by allowing users to view additional information using auto-drill or auto-linking. Auto-drill provides links to explore data hierarchies at runtime, while auto-linking allows you to configure links to other charts and reports by using parameters that match the original report's primary sort field. You can also set the report to run in info mini mode, which will allow users to modify their view of the report at runtime by filtering it with slicers or saving it as a different output type. You have the option of enabling the Slicers tab and the Format tab for InfoMini use. In addition to filtering, the Data tab allows you to modify fields for use in your report by joining additional data sources to make more fields available, or by calculating a new field from existing fields with a Compute or Define. You can use Slicers to filter data as you create your content. You can add a Slicer on the Slicers tab. A slicer is a filter that can be dynamically modified by making a selection from a list. Slicers enable you to indicate filter values at design time, which narrows the display of data accordingly at runtime. If InfoMini is enabled with the Slicers tab selected, you can access these slicer options there as well to add a filter that can be modified at runtime. The Layout and View tabs allow you to determine how the report will be oriented on the page and how your user interface is set up. Finally, clicking on a field in the Query pane or a column of the report opens the Field tab. Here you can set formatting for that specific field. For instance, you can add monetary symbols to currency fields, or you can add a traffic light to highlight values that exceed or fall below a certain measure amount that you set. Once you are done creating and styling your report, you can save it and run it from the Quick Access Toolbar to see how the finished product looks. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.